This game is rated M and is intended for mature audiences. Well, hello there, everybody. My name is Colorful Artie, and welcome to a brand new Twitch series. So, after spending almost a year on Clanade, I thought we needed something to kind of fill the hole that it left behind. And I, I like playing visual novels, and I've had there's one visual novel that has been I've heard a lot about and has been very highly rated. And it was on sale this last year, so I picked it up and I've been waiting to try it out after I finished Clanad. It's the Fruit of Grisea. I think that's how you pronounce it, I don't know. <laughs> Hello, Vazha, welcome. So, let's boot up the game, see what this is all about. Front wing. Oh, it's the Sekai project? Is that the same translation? Is that the same translation team that worked on Clanad? Definitely sounds similar. Alright, I'm I'm digging the music already. Also, I finally got my mouse cursor to show up without it being in a different spot uh, on your guys' end than it is on my end. So, that should be nice. Also, is the volume balance between the game music and my voice right? Because I can turn down the game music if necessary. Anyhow, this is the Fruit of Grisea, and... Literally how I found out about this is there's a mod for Doki Doki Literature Club called Fruits of the Literature Club, which is a kind of an homage to this game, and I really like that mod, so I'm hoping that this game's going to be good. Again, it's been very, very highly rated. It's, it's regarded as one of the best visual novels, so I'm excited to try that out. Also, I've heard it's a little more, um, dark. Dark than what I usually play. I... <laughs> I generally play family-friendly stuff. Clanade was a little bit uh, more mature than what I normally do. This is the next the next step up. <laughs> apparently, I, I think this game is rated M, and apparently it was even worse, but the Steam release apparently removed like all the nudity and sex scenes, which, good! I don't want to go for those. Because <laughs> in my personal experience, I don't really want to see any of those. I, I, well, it, I mean, I hope it censors all the nudity, because if not, I'll get kicked off of Twitch, because they're not okay with <laughs> the nudity. <laughs> also, I'm a person with fairly conservative values on the whole, so this should be interesting for me to... <laughs> this should be an interesting watch, I'm hoping. Also, I'm going in blind, so please no spoilers, or else you will be punished very severely. Alright. I think I've gotten all the settings... Right, I configured some of the settings just to make sure that I could stream it properly. So I think everything's good. Let's start from the beginning and see what this game is all about. Alright. Oh, that's a cicada, alright. Oh, yep. I recognize that cicada sound from Animal Crossing. Intense sunlight blazes down on the road as if to declare the arrival of summer. The burning asphalt radiates heat, mixing with the scent of the tide to form a thick, muggy atmosphere. Ooh, nice sky. Oh, I like that. That's a beautiful lens flare effect. It's way too early for this kind of weather. And when the temperature's abnormally high, you're always going to get some people who lose their heads and start acting erratically. In other words, it's only natural that the police would be on the lookout for suspicious types at times like these. It was about ten minutes ago that I realized I'd been mistaken for one of those heat-stroke addled sorts. Ooh, wow. We're getting all sorts of graphics right from the get-go. This is great. Alright, we good. We get voice talent. Kazami Yuji, eh? Is that, is that us? Sweat pouring from his forehead as he examines my license, the policeman in front of me takes a glance at the large backpack I'm carrying, then continues the background check. Yes. Okay, that's us. <laughs> I told you this ten minutes ago. I'm moving. This luggage is everything I own. 
Like I said, I don't have one yet. The answer is not going to change no matter how many times you ask. The policeman's being a little nosy. Where did you come from? Where are you going? What are you planning to do there? Depending on the context, these could be fairly philosophical questions, but as far as police inquiries go, they're pretty run-of-the-mill. From the perspective, anyone wandering around without clear-cut business is by default a criminal of some sort. Let alone someone like me carrying around conspicuous bulky luggage. It's as good as guaranteed that they'd stop me. That is their job, I suppose. Since this little scene acts as a crime deterrent through its visibility, it's not as an entirely wasted effort. But unfortunately, I don't have all day to play along. I drop a glance towards the digital watch I'm carrying or, or wearing around my left wrist. Sorry, but I'm keeping someone waiting. I really can't spare any more time for hanging out with bored cops. No, I, I respect the men in uniform. A bored police force is proof that the city's at peace. Take it as a compliment. Inexplicably taking offense at my tone, the policeman clicks his tongue in irritation and tosses my license back. Dude, it's just Girl Scout cookies. I, I pack a lot. I got all the vitamins. I refuse. Gad, not a knife. Told you, just Girl Scout cookies. I don't rely on blades. Policy of mine. Look, are you really telling me to unpack all of this on the spot? It'll take an hour at least. 30 minutes just to take it all out, 30 minutes to stuff it back in. Well, it's hard to say no to some free tea. I just told you, I don't have the time. I can't accept voluntary questioning. I know you can't just back down in this situation, but if I say I'll head over there myself later, could we wrap this up for now? <laughs> Uh-oh, I think he's on to us. <laughs> As I've explained, I'm in the middle of a move. I vacated my old place, so I don't have an address. I'm surprised the policeman hasn't pointed out that we're not even looking at him, we're just staring at this traffic light, which, by the way, has not turned green yet. This is the longest red light ever. I don't have any parents. No siblings or relatives either. They're all dead. Uh-oh. This is going nowhere. <laughs> yes, Sonic. <laughs> I'm playing this now. <laughs> I take it you're excited by my choice. <laughs> then at least let me call the person I'm supposed to be meeting. At this rate, they'll be waiting all day. The Girl Scouts, I need even more cookies. I'm not going to tell you that. It's your mother. We had an appointment at a hotel tonight. Oh wow, you're you're gonna get you're you're gonna get your butt arrested, Yuji. Huh? I was keeping quiet out of the goodness of my heart. You dragged it out of me, so don't blame me when your parents get divorced and your happy home is shattered. <laughs> just just personal advice, I don't recommend you mouth off to police officers. <laughs> oh what? <laughs> Gotta help him. Well, about 30 meters away from where we're talking, someone screams. Oh, thank goodness the police is here. <laughs> A desperate cry follows within seconds. Uh-oh. Oh, yes. I know this song. One thing is in the, the DDLC mod, uh, Fruits of the Winter's Club, it used the soundtrack from this game. So I'm, I'm, I'm familiar with a lot of the songs. This one is cool. <laughs> a woman sits collapsed on the street, stretching out her hand. Her high heel lies on the ground, knocked off her feet by the sudden fall. Just about halfway between us, there's a man in a flashy Hawaiian shirt running in this direction. Uh oh. Although the thief flinches for a moment at the sight of the policeman's uniform, after a quick check for any convenient side streets, he barrels onward. Brandishing the stolen bag menacingly, his hand violently gestures out of my way. <laughs> I like this. I like the effect on the side of the screen. Like, ooh, it's action. The cop is completely flustered. He's quite clearly unaccustomed to this sort of situation. 
While he's panicking, the distance between us and the thief shrinks with surprising swiftness. The man runs in a straight line towards a breakthrough to freedom. I happen to be standing directly in the middle of his path. As he prepares to strike with the bag, I ascertain the movement of his shoulder and arm from the first signs of motion, and hit his wrist sharply just as he be move, begins to swing. <laughs> what? The man's arm instantly stiffens and loses all momentum. His eyes pop wide open in shock. Um, Sonic, this is the version on Steam, which I've been told uh, has removed all the nudity and sex, which, that's the version I want. I immediately grab the collar of the Hawaiian shirt he's wearing and firmly draw him toward me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, this rock song. Before the man can offer resistance to my pull, I smoothly reverse and use my body weight to shove against him. When pushed just as they've begun to brace themselves against being pulled, every anyone except a genuine expert is going to be thrown off the balance. Nice shirt! Where'd you buy it? <laughs> Shock spreads across the man's face as his knees buckle against his will. I try to gain a chokehold using my grip on the neck of his shirt, but... Oh, that's a, that's a little uncalled for. The man promptly draws his head back and shifts his body to the side, preventing me from landing a hold on back on his neck. Although I expected as much from a glance at his build, it seems like he's somewhat experienced in judo. But, in this case, you would have been better off trying a decisive tackle. Rotating around the purse snatcher in the opposite direction of his slide, I yank his arm out. I yank his right arm upward with both hands. In one movement, I've circled to his back. <laughs> wow, we're getting a CG already! <laughs> Next, Pull on the opponent's wrist and elbow to pin him to the ground. This is just basic Aiku Aikido, by the way. Whoa! That seems a little extreme. Wow, we're already getting the first... We already know what our character looks like. And he looks very similar to Tomoya. Do all visual novel protagonists look the same? Oh, also... Is there a way to just make the dialogue disappear, so that way I can get these thumbnails. Hide message- okay, spacebar. Sweet. Beautiful. First thumbnail. <laughs> hey now, you've got your priorities all wrong. Before worrying about me, you should kill the guy who sold you that shirt. <laughs> hey, that, that shirt doesn't look bad, it's just, if you're gonna commit a crime, don't wear a, a violently bright Hawaiian shirt. Perhaps unconsciously, the man's now empty right hand desperately slaps at the asphalt. While holding the thief pinned, I quickly shoot a look behind me. Don't just stand there! Oh. Oh. The policeman jerks up straight in response to my angry shout. Taking a pair of handcuffs from the pouch around his waist, he runs over to restrain the criminal. The, perch, the purse snatcher seems to have resigned himself to his fate and doesn't offer any pointless resistance. He accepts his red-handed arrest for the theft docilely, and then he sits quietly on the ground with his head hung as the policeman radios for backup. Apparently, they weren't too far off as a siren approaches in no time. That is loud. That is loud. Two policemen get out of the arriving cruiser and push the criminal into the back seat. As I'm quietly watching the scene in perfect passivity, the policeman from earlier runs over. <laughs> <laughs> I will ac I'll accept my payment in Girl Scout cookies. I'll pass on the letter of thanks, so how about letting me move on? Oh, whatever. Figured as much. Shaking my head in exasperation, I silently rebuke myself. Should have just left it alone. No! You helped the lady get her purse back. You're, you're a good guy, bro. As the policeman pushes at my back, a glance at my wristwatch informs me that I'm already five minutes late for my meeting. Uh-oh. That's not good. Oh, wow. Um, interrogation room. I, that ah. went so fast, I couldn't oh, read it. So, 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 so. Oh, this song is good. <laughs> I already like this. Thirty minutes have passed since I was brought to the interrogation room, familiar as the place where criminals break into flop sweat in TV dramas. I'm sitting on a cheap foldable pipe chair, my arms folded in perfect silence. This music is so good. Instead of responding, I close my eyes. A silent statement indicating that I have absolutely no intention of opening my mouth. 
What are you doing, bro? I'm beginning to think there's something worse than Girl Scout cookies in your bag. The detective clicks his tongue in exasperation at my attitude. I've got a pretty fair idea of what he'll be doing next. The sound of something being struck and an even louder attempt at intimidation. This is the point where a timid guy would be jumping in his seat with his eyes wide open, or maybe staring at the floor and quivering. As for me, my eyes still sh are still shut, and my arms are still folded quietly. My mind is a total blank. I've been accustomed to adults shouting at me like this since I was a child. Uh-oh. Following the threat stage, the next step would be for him to grip my chair and jolt me back and forth. But I'm dealing with an official authority group here. I should get off without direct violence this time. Not to say that they won't pull out the old TV cliches and harass me by shining a desk lamp in my eyes or something of the sort. I can roughly translate the detective's sigh. Ugh, these damn kids these days. I gently open my eyes in order to sneak a look at his disgusted face. The detective sitting in front of me seems to be challenging the Guinness World Record for the most dramatic asymmetry between the left and right sides of a human mouth. Or maybe he's just scowling. Is that desk lamp the detective? When I let out a snort of laughter in response to the unexpectedly pleasant sight, the detective scratches his head violently and glares at me. <laughs> You got something against p guys helping purse snatchers uh, get brought to justice? It won't gain you anything, but you won't lose anything either. Except your time. I turn my gaze to the clock on the wall of the sweat box. An hour has already passed since the scheduled time of my meeting. Dude, I think you need to take anger management classes. The detective strikes the desk with excellent comic timing. The best part is the way he knocks his ashtray off the table every time he does this. <laughs> his tone distinctly fed up. He stoops down to pick the plastic tray off the floor. Kazumi Yuji. Occupation, student. <laughs> I know a guy. <laughs> That's because I have been. I'm an expert hacker, bro. Kazumi Yuji. Occupation, student. <laughs> I'm just... I'm just a man walking the planet looking for my place in life. <laughs> also, I go to the local public school. Kazumi Yuji, occupation student. <laughs> Gladly. First it's say something, now it's shut up. Talk about heart, please. Our capricious detective scowls yet again and scratches his head. Flakes of dandruff drift, drift gen <laughs> grandly through the air. Oh, he needs a better shampoo. Based on his furrowy wrinkled suit and heavy stubble, I'd say he hasn't been home in days. Oh, that's why he's so angry. Poor guy. Put yourself in mine. Now I have to repack my bags, and now I'm gonna <laughs> now I'm gonna get chewed out at the school board meeting. I assume that we're part of the student council, and that's the meeting we were going to. Another sigh. It's enough to make me want to heave one myself. Because we both take our work seriously, it seems that we're stuck going round in circles. <laughs> You're welcome. Just as we roughly complete this exchange of one-sided bitterness and mutual glaring, there's a well-timed knock at the door, and the sound of it being unlocked. Hi. Uh, this better be Detective Gumshoe to the rescue. A slightly plump elderly detective, never mind, enters the room. Given the respectful tone of the detective I've been chatting with, he's probably a superior of some sort. Hi. Hi, guy. <laughs> After a quick glance in my direction, the elderly detective whispers something into the younger man's ear. Before him all, the younger detective turns toward me with a decidedly nonplussed expression. Thank you! Why now, all of a sudden? With those parting words, the young detective leaves the room. The elderly detective watches him go and then faces me with a greasy smile. Yeah, Kazami-san. Oh, 
先ほどようやっとあなたの身元保証人の方と連絡が取れた次第でして What is that last word? Garantor? I have never heard of that word before. The detective stares at me with eyes like a dead fish. I thought we were a high school student. Do we have a part time job? If you'd known I was from Ichigaya from the start, wouldn't you have thrown me in jail, stripped me naked, and sprayed me down with a hose? Whoa! What kind of a part time job is this, Yuji? <laughs> まさかまさかご冗談をうちは天下の桜だもんですよ I'm already confused Just to let you know, I'm nothing but a student My work at Ichigaya is only a part-time cleaning job Oh, okay, he's a janitor 掃除、掃除ですかあ、あ、なるほどね、うまいことおっしゃいますなさすがはインテリさんの集まりだ Well, I know my way around a mop. Apparently, I also know jujitsu based on the way we took down the purse snatcher. In response to my words, the detective twists his mouth into something vaguely resembling a smile. Yeah, this is what I said. I'm going to go to the house. 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 Sarcasm drifting from every pore of his body, the detective treats me with transparently insincere courtesy. He's perfectly civil on a superficial level, but the atmosphere in here is growing increasingly unpleasant. The younger detective from before, hard ass that he was, seems infinitely preferable. Did you inquire to Ichigaya about me? Yeah, <laughs> What the heck? I'm pretty clearly not a dog. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> These are even stupider jokes than the ones I make, and that's saying something. Since you found my owner and confirmed that my leash is properly attached, I should be able to leave now, right? Eh? Do you want to go? Ah, so so. That's so. Does every visual novel protagonist also say that so all the time? おかげでうちの所長も会議の途中で電話に引っ張られたようでして、散財闇を言われたと言っておりました。Where is my backpack? お預かりした荷物は玄関にあるのですので、<笑>そちらで。何でしたらうちの車でお送りしましょうか ？You're not getting funds from public taxes in order to show for bums like me around, are you? I'll walk. All right. After I'm urged out the door by the old man, the young detective appears from the rear carrying the backpack they'd taken from me earlier. So, homie, if you ate any of my boxes of thin, thin mints or trefoils, you're dead. なんでもない重さだな、これは。一体何が入ってるんだ Bits of a bit of a tough question. I guess you could say my life. ギャグだとしたら出来は悪いぞ。That wasn't really what I was going for. まあ、そんなことはどうでもいい。Dropping the backpack next to me, the detective lets out a slight sigh. Thanks for lugging it out here. Pretty heavy, isn't it? 仕事で柔道やってるような人間に言う言葉じゃないな。田舎の警察とはいえ、その辺は仕込まれてる。I am loving the music. True. Guess that's natural for a policeman. Sorry. That's one thing. Like literally every game I play, I'm just like the music is so good in this game. <laughs> the detective smiles wryly. No, my. <laughs> hey Marty! Oh man! So apparently we're a student who's also a janitor for this like secret company, but we know jujitsu. We took down a purse snatcher, and we're lugging a backpack filled with nothing but Girl Scout cookies around. I I made up that last part, but <laughs> I'm wearing the school uniform. You can see at a glance. 制服が着られているって感じだがな。He claps my shoulder as we pass each other. With those parting words, he heads back into the police station. 
Yeah, my con my Twitch chat is on, gets popped up on the screen now. Woo! <laughs> Guess I don't make a convincing student yet. Yeah, based on the CG, UG, you looked like you were my age. Granted, I also look like a high schooler, apparently. I'm wearing black slacks and a short sleeve dress shirt, as well as blue tartan, a uh, blue tartan check necktie. Excluding my somewhat volnish hair, I would be the very image of a student. Volnish hair? You had normal length hair. Maybe not by Japanese standards. I guess it's a little difficult turning into something like that all of a sudden. But it's probably precisely because this is difficult that I decided to give it a try. For a while, I myself didn't understand why I'd asked for this. But now, I think I have a faint grasp on the reason. I wanted to become something that I couldn't understand. Something that I wasn't. At the moment, I've done nothing but smooth down my edges a bit. Perhaps later on I'll become a student on the inside as well. The sun that had been climbing upward earlier has now finally reached its zenith. The temperature keeps on rising and sweat oozes from my skin. I've, I've been there, bro. <laughs> I was pretty sure she'd pick me up, but... Hmm? Sensing a presence, I lower my gaze from the sun. My eyes, while accustomed to the high contrast lighting, project a human form in silhouette for only the briefest of moments before the details fade in. Oh! Oh, you're cute! <laughs> What's up, girl? <laughs> a woman raising an awkward salute, grinning broadly, stands before my eyes. I like the glasses. Spare me. I don't want to see a pose like that outside the workplace. Wow, dude! That's a little rude! In the first place, what's with that dopey salute? The girls in bikinis on the Maritime SDF recruitment posters have more impressive form. Now, how would you know that, Yuji? <laughs> Is she going to be an important character? She has her own sprite, so probably. I don't recall contributing enough to society today to deserve any appreciation. She opens the door of the car stopped next to her. Who are you? Yeah, true enough. Oh yeah, the game's art style is amazing. And so is the music. From Mishima Cape Police Station to National Highway number 133 southbound, we proceed to the Prefectural Highway and advance further out towards the Cape. Wow, the animation too. A range of slowly rotating wind turbines come into view, indicating our proximity to the sea. <laughs> Oh, is she the one we were trying to... <laughs> oh, maybe she's a maybe she's a teacher at the school. Because <laughs> we're transferring to the school and we were late to the meeting. By that we mean we didn't show up because we got detained. I doubt you really thought I was sick. You were trying the police stations first, not the hospitals. Oh, I like this girl. She's sweet. Accuracy in weather forecasts and interpersonal communications make society run smoother. <laughs> I am a robot. Beep boop beep boop. <laughs> Pouting again, she continues her her hurrah. I don't know that word. <laughs> I don't like trains. Maybe that's what I was going to do. Sorry, I hate trains. I was joking! <laughs> I was joking! Is this going to be a case where, like, literally every visual novel I play, I become the protagonist? I hope not. Could you not mention this to the other students? I don't want them getting funny ideas about me from the get-go. <laughs> I feel like you're gonna stand out a little bit, Yuji. I got enough of that from the police to last me a while. I got questioned, but they didn't get answers. Mm, this is so, such peaceful music. Ooh! Another CG, I like it! The car proceeds about 500 meters along an area of reclaimed coastal land before she brought it to a stop. This is a fancy place. Look at that gate. 
So this is what he meant by landfill, I see. What do you mean? This, this is way nicer than every public school I've seen in America. Private schools, too. <laughs> As I'm recalling the words of the detective from before, the woman continues our conversation with a suddenly cheerful tone. Ooh, new school. Wow, look at that wall. What the heck? I guess you could say that that wall is huge. Very nice. Barely even looks like a school. This, oh my gosh, this looks like the school from Bully. Bullworth Academy. It's got the gate and the wall. I hope it's a bit nicer than that, though. <laughs> Although I'd heard it was a new school, its external appearance genuinely isn't what I'd expected. A three-story building. The pure white color of the outer walls is the only typical school-like element, with every other aspect more closely resembling a city office building. The gates to the right and left are less evocative of a school gate to the, than a functional fence at some facility. <laughs> is the fence there to keep people in or out? What the heck? Or is it just there to be fancy? A mounted signboard, likewise, is a utilitarian thing printed in a simple typeface rather than a hand-drawn work of calligraphy. <laughs> Sorry, I'm still a, I'm a robot. I haven't been programmed to feel emotions yet. I've only just arrived at this place. If I said I was deeply moved by the sight, it'd be a lie. <laughs> What's with that face there, woman? <laughs> with an exaggerated sigh, she opens her hands wide <laughs> and an overblown gesture of third-rate actor. I bet you at least one of those two adjectives is wrong. Uh-oh, I hope this game doesn't have a lot of anime screaming. You just had to say it, didn't you? <laughs> I did not expect there to be English in this game, what? What the heck, is this the wildebeest stampede from the Lion King? What's with all these footsteps? Her rigmarole is abruptly interrupted by the high-pitched shrieks of two girls. That's a little screamy for my liking! Also, what the heck? Is this like a manga now? What's with this comic book panel? <laughs> the girl with the pigtails is definitely like eight years old. <laughs> oh my- oh. What the heck? Is, is she, does she have- did she tie a string around the cicada? What the heck? Oh my gosh. Oh, too much screaming! Oh no. <laughs> yeah, that's what you get for all the laughing. <laughs> I like how they did the fade out at the end. That's the really nice touch. This has a lot of good effects. Oh, hey, Nick. I don't know who invited the pigtail girl, but... <laughs> so appara apparently words spoken within angle braces are in English. I did not expect them to speak Japanese and English. Dang, okay, man, this has way more animation than Clanad did. Wow. <laughs> yeah, you sweat. Normal? Could you define that term? Is there a class where we chase each other around brandishing insects? <laughs> is this just a high school, or is this, like, a school for all ages? Because, again, that pigtail girl was definitely, like, eight years old. I don't think I do. But it's nice to see that it's a lively school. <laughs> Lump Canella? Oh no. <laughs> Having apparently forgotten what she was planning to do with her outspread hands, she totters through the school gate. Oh no. <laughs>